Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're back once again at Tiki de Amore, the tiki bar connected to Italian restaurant Casa de Amore on Tropicana Avenue. Last month's showcase at this fun hidden gem was a blast, so this one promised to be even more so. If you'd like to be featured on a future showcase, hit up Hal Savar using his social media handle I've put down in the description. You'll also find the social media handles for every act mentioned in this video as well. Tell them Room 6 sent you. With the weather finally cooling down, it's time to get outside and enjoy some tiki drinks, great music, and amazing Italian food. So grab your shades and get ready to relax as we prepare to get tropical. Well, Hawaii is a beautiful place to live. <laughs> yeah, I should have seen it before it was covered in hotels. Yeah, that's a fun fact about Hawaii. Our biggest export is coffee, and our biggest import is fat white tourists. <laughs> This video is brought to you by LastPass. We'll hear more about them later. For now, let's get on to today's video. Kicking things off like usual was our host, Hal Savar. Known for his originals as well as being a human jukebox, capable of performing hours of cover songs both by himself and with his band, Hal does a great job of grabbing an audience's attention from the get-go. His sound is both big and intimate, and every song has a backstory taken from his life. He's always a great way to kick off a show. Following Hal was longtime friend of the showcase and Room 6, Aubrey Digital. Combining technical and clever guitar playing with clever lyrics full of wordplay and a lovely vibrato, Aubrey's sound is catchy and also full of introspection, and the crowd loved it. I'm so glad that she was able to play. After Aubrey was Casmus, who was quickly becoming a showcase favorite. Grabbing the introspective torch from Aubrey Digital, this performance brought us a mellower and deeper Casmus than usual. Normally a fireball on stage, this set had everyone thinking of past loves and losses and was a great example of the depth of emotion that songwriters can infuse into their songs. Hitting the showcase stage once again was the amazing Caroline Tronoski. With a sweet sound that draws the listener in, Caroline's music is full of hope and love with a tinge of folk music at its heart. It's been great to watch her grow as a performer over multiple showcases and she should definitely be on your radar. Changing things up a bit was the next act. Daniel Herrett. While his set continued the folk song vibe, Daniel's singing style was decidedly more full of life with all of its ups and downs. One moment channeling Tom Waits, and the next channeling Willie Nelson, his music always makes me wish I had a glass of whiskey in my hand. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks Josh from the past. Want to know a universal truth? Passwords are a pain. Want to know another one? Having only one password makes everything a lot easier. That's what I use. LastPass to secure my online presence. LastPass is like autopilot for all your passwords, giving you peace of mind wherever you go online. With over 33 million people using it and plans ranging from free to $4 a month, it's a great way to secure your privacy and save you time and frustration and hassle trying to remember which password goes where. Just for watching this video and for being part of Room 6, and for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get a Teams subscription for only $4 a month. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Thanks to LastPass for being a sponsor, and let's get back to today's show. Definitely changing things up, Masters of Resonance was up next. Combining a face-painted frontman singing some screamo vocals with another singer on keyboards, bass, trombone, and a flute, this crazy group of friends set about to make unique music that stands out, and all I can say is, mission accomplished. Their music is unforgettable, and so is their show. The bar was raised high for the next act, but unfortunately, David Wax was up to the job. Always a consummate songwriter and a showcase favorite, his songs are written with an eye towards storytelling. David's music is full of energy and passion, and is often written from his own personal experiences. It's always so great to hear him perform, and you owe it to yourself to catch him live if you get the chance. Due to a few performer dropouts, Caroline Tronoski jumped back on stage for a couple of tunes. After that, it was time for Joe the Associate and his band. Joe and the gang have a fun time on stage blending classic rock elements with a quirky twist, and even a little Beatles flavor. With fan favorites like Hot Damn and Sharks in their repertoire, 
they always get feet tapping and crowds dancing. Finishing things off was The October, a band that includes Sam the Drummer from Joe the Associates Band. A little bit grunge and a little bit emo, this three piece is still fairly new, but they put everything they had into their set. They definitely flipped the script on the night, and definitely made an impression. It'll be interesting to see what the future holds for this band of young performers. Overall, the second installment of the Songwriter Showcase at Tiki de Amore went off without a hitch. If you couldn't be there and want to watch all the action, check out the live stream using the link I put down below. For now, the next showcase I'll be covering will be another Punk on Soft acoustic showcase at 9pm Pacific Standard Time inside Triple Down Bar inside the Punk Rock Museum. I hope to see you there, or at the very least, on the live stream. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you will check out the social media handles down in the description for all the acts mentioned in this video. And I hope that hopefully we'll see you at a showcase sometime in the future, or at least on the live stream. In the meantime, if you're in the area of Tropicana Avenue and uh, Pecos and want to swing by Casa de Amore and check out Tiki de Amore, I highly recommend it. It'd be a great date night. Other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you want to subscribe, click up there. You know the drill, ring the bell, all that jazz. And if you want to hear my own music, click over there. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.